Hey guys, this is Tim back with some more gameplay from Mega Aquarium. Man, I'm I'm really happy to finally be back here. This uh, this last month has been kind of ridiculous, uh, and I did the the classic thing in the last episode, famous last words. I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some more videos. I'm gonna start making videos a bit more regularly, which is like the classic YouTuber thing, and then that means that that person is definitely not gonna make any more videos for like another month. So anyway. It's been a crazy month. I um, I was trying to record one at the beginning of July, but then I went away for a holiday around my birthday, which was awesome. It was like a final hurrah before releasing the game. And then it's just been absolutely flat out since then. I've been busy uh, doing stuff to allow my artist to do things, allowing my, um, my sound guy to do stuff. I only just got to him last week. And... Um, also, my translators. The game is currently being translated. I'm just kind of rotating to give you guys something cool to look at in the meantime while I'm talking. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually so excited. I've actually started writing the campaign, right? So there's going to be, what to say, 10 levels. Uh, 10 level campaign. And these are going to be like... All right, guys, do you remember, like, old school sort of... Uh, old school sort of sim games, right? They didn't just, they didn't just do the whole... Uh, rogue-like thing where you randomize everything and you you know push the player into it and then it's like the levels are generated because by randomness you know great you know and I can say this right because that's what Big Pharma was like and um, you know I did what I could with it Big Pharma was fun but I'm going for something like a real like nostalgia kick right with Mega Aquarium and I'm so excited about it the levels are like properly scripted levels so you know everything just works nicely we can do really interesting stuff we can have like special events happening We're not just kind of like randomly done these special events can be like designed by me and i can give you interesting choices to make you know maybe you know the choice you make at the beginning of a level sends you in two different directions and you know allows you to um to experiment with different strategies and that sort of stuff anyway so i'm super excited about that i'm working on that at the moment i might give you guys a sneak preview at some point but anyway so for now i'm just back here but there's mad so much i've been working on on so much stuff i think the main thing i want to show you today is, do you remember i did this new thing right where you got this new the way there's three types of scenery okay you got plants you got caves and you got rocks and i'm gonna actually uh what happened with that basically is I also updated all the scenery in the game to make a kind of like new balanced system to go with that. And at last time when I showed you, I hadn't actually got all the updated stuff yet, whereas now I've actually got them. So let me let me talk you through all the cool stuff while we fix all these little things. Now, I don't know if I, I can't remember if this one was in the last video or not, but basically I think it was. These actually like pop up now and they show you what's wrong so we can quite easily just go around and say well look this one needs an extra plant right so we go in here so these are the new plants in the game and they're redesigned to kind of um uh, to to meet uh, the requirements of the system more uh, we've got the sea lettuce which is basically like the original one before we've got this this uh this one which provides a bit more plants which is two squares you've got this one which provides even more plants i've only just unlocked this one um and then you've got the kelp which is deep but it's only on one square anyway so on these deep tanks we can actually do a lot with kelp to be honest um here we need some caves right now this this is like replacing the original uh kind of like it was like a little three square one that we had before anyway let's these i've replaced that the early cave is now like a little bit of driftwood and it's just a two by one uh, and then the next one you unlock is something that looks more like the other one. It's the rocky overhang. Now this provides a lot more cave space. So let's let's use this. And then next we're going to be unlocking a um, what's going on? Not enough money. Oh my word! Are you kidding me? <laughs> no money. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, probably should look at my money totals before I start doing stuff. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try slowly fix these things while I also. Um, talked to you about like this new scenery it's looking really nice i don't know about you but i just think my artist has really kind of come into his style um and if you compare this to some of the earlier stuff i think it just looks really really cool i just realized we've got to be careful i think cod is a fish eater may eat fish size of 11 or less this is size 5 this is a terrible terrible idea all right if we're lucky i might be able to show you a uh, cod eating a, eating a, a wrasse i shouldn't really do that but you know it's for science um right rank up let's do it gosh 
Um, did I show you this guy? Like the moon jelly is like a bit messed up, but it's functionally work, so it's kind of low on my priority list while I'm working on the campaign and all this other stuff. Also, yeah, some of these corals are a bit funky. So the way the scenery works is, you know, back in the day, you used to have to uh, unlock the scenery by using ecology points. Well, I've, I've kind of changed that now. I think what works better is you just get a load of uh, different scenery and decorations when you rank up. Talking of decorations, I'm bringing back the kind of non-aquascaping decorations, so they're not going to provide plants, caves, or rock points. They're coming back, um, and they're just going to provide prestige. So they're just variety, and it's just, you know, obviously guests like decoration but the cool thing about these is you can actually put them outside of your tanks as well but that i've got all the assets for that i just need to like get it in the game so um yeah that's going to be coming soon but we don't have that right now so we still just got the aquascaping ones anyway tons of new stuff to unlock um don't think there's anything like that special oh our first shark that's quite cool this guy likes let read this this shark prefers to walk rather than swim using its using it ah uh, damn it my writer She's, uh, there's a little typo. Uh, never mind. Uh, this shark prefers to walk rather than swim, using its stiffened under things to walk across the seabed. The epaulette will even use its curious talent to climb out of the water entirely to access more exciting tidal pools. Yeah, but not in this game. Um, but yeah, this guy, I think, likes rocks. Uh, it doesn't actually crawl along the floor yet. Uh, again, the aesthetic stuff, I'm tending to leave to the end, right? Because that's the stuff which I know I can just get fixed later. But anything that's gameplay changing is the stuff that I'm prioritizing right now. Okay, let's go for that large skimmer because that is surely going to be useful. Now, um, man, there's some things I would totally change about this aquarium immediately. Like, I've been playing quite a lot lately, so I've actually got better at the game. Get the hell out of here. Now, the first thing is, right, I know I've got these nice, um, observer things but actually this is just going to work so much better because people are going to see these things and they're just going to um and then there's the toilet there for people who need them it's just like a better use of the space i gotta say corridors do work really well in this game it's not that surprising that that's what they have in real aquariums okay we've got some money now so let's that's the puffer fish which will eventually puff up i have the animation i just haven't programmed <laughs> to do that there's going to be a lot of that sort of stuff, guys. But hey, look, at least I'm recording a video, so count yourself lucky. Um, but seriously, the game is like... So here's the thing, right? I've got basically all of the objects in the game. Um, oh my god, this thing is so long. <laughs> guys, you, I was never, you were never meant to make this much stuff. Oh my word. Okay, this is ridiculous. So yeah, my artist has actually redesigned under my expert advisement uh, these things so here's the cool thing right all of these stuff used to be like completely centrally placed in the square now this meant that if you rotated it it would sort of like m mildly change the, the, the lighting right as the as the facet you know the, the, the angle of the polygons changed slightly now you might notice that if you're paying really close attention to rocks, but you're not going to notice that just at a glance. So what we, what we needed is something a little bit more effective than that. So what we've got is all of the items in the game now, and now offset around the center. And this includes the two by twos like this. And it means you can create much more natural looking environments, right? Um, so for example, this two, this two by two here, if you placed it next to another one, if you rotated it, it would look like a kind of field of rocks rather than like tiled. And then if you add and these small ones as well you can make these quite organic looking looking things the reason i changed that to rubble by the way was because it, it gives you slightly higher um filter power you just, you, by going for a two by two rather than the one by one you end up getting one more rock and one more filter man i am just like talking like a machine gun my my girlfriend's away at the moment she's in poland having fun and uh i'm just working pretty solidly on the game and haven't really talked to anybody for a few days so i guess you guys are my um therapists <laughs> okay 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 so we've got some more money let's do some more stuff so most of these caves just aren't good enough anymore because i've ch changed around the the numbers um but once we got this sorted it should be good well that's what i said last time though isn't it so, all right let's get rid of some of these sea lettuces partly because the guests will like it as well we change things up a little bit but these 
feather club is a really good. Now that looks a bit. Let's let's flip it round. Let's try and make it look a little bit more organic. Actually, I didn't really change it very much. Looks good from this sort of angle, though. Okay. How's everything going? We have a little bit of a water quality issue here. Now this is really cool. This is about the tenth time I've said this is really cool in this video, which is uh, it shows that I've I've not been doing enough videos because. I have like so much stuff to show you. Um, the water quality now gets autom uh, gets calculated instantaneously, rather than um, the filter power changing the water quality over time in comparison to the bio load, right? Like, so for example, if we put well, this is just 51 out of 48. I've obviously tweaked some numbers because that shouldn't even be able to fit in there anymore. Um, okay. Anyway, so we change the numbers. I should have done that slower. And this will change inst instantaneously. So let's just put like a little two guy in here. It's 59. Oh, this is cool as well, right? Look, we got like direct feedback all over these things. I don't think we had that before. You used to have to hover over them. Now it, it literally says the number you're aiming for, which is basically the, the highest number of any fish in the tank. Because you're always going to want to keep the water quality good. You don't want to risk death. So if I click this, then that goes down to 58. What's that? requires water quality of glue. Uh, Alright, that's another example of one of Tim's special bugs. Um, that's really weird, I'm sure that should work, but um, it's not inserting the water quality properly. Okay, focus Tim, focus. So that jumps back down again when we sell the guy, so the, the, it changes instantaneously. Now, I didn't want to do this for a long time, because I thought that... I don't know what's going on here. I might just ignore that for now. Um, I didn't want to do that for the longest time because the I wanted stuff to change over time in the game. I didn't want it all just to be kind of instantly solvable. Um, but I kind of changed my mind on that. I mean, this it's just so much more direct having things change instantaneously. It means that you don't have to keep hovering over it and saying, well, this is where it's going to be eventually. Uh, you can get that reaction straight away. Uh, the other reason I didn't want it, though, was because when stuff broke, I didn't want it to, like, instantly plummet your water quality down to like zero so now what we have is we have this gradual thing where once when something breaks um, it will slowly lose its power over time so it's like the same thing if you think about it right the filter is going to slowly lose its power until you fix it which is basically is going to slowly bring the water quality down so you've still got a reason to have a kind of over spec capacity on your tank because then it gives you a little bit more time to fix stuff. So, you know, one thing you could do is just put like two filters in every single tank. You've got loads of redundancy there, uh, and it gives your staff a lot longer to get around. Or you could have like a really tightly networked set of staff who get to stuff really quickly. So you spend a little bit less money on... Um, we well, spend more money on your staff, probably and less money on the filters but if you do the other way around you spend more money on your filters and less money on your stuff so there's some interesting strategic choices there that one might not uh consider immediately here's the porcupine puffer so this guy is a wimp who will eat very 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 small crustaceans and it's basically a bit of a crowd pleaser really um this text here tells us about the puffing ability that i'm not going to be showing you in today's video all right what are we going to get next Ah, uh, I do love me some French angelfish. I'm not actually sure, kind of, what we should be going for, because it's been a while since I played. Humpback Snap is really good with sharks, because they can't eat it, but we haven't really got many sharks yet. Um, how are we doing for lighting? That's actually, like, the wrong thing. That should be telling us the amount of light that it needs. Um, so I don't actually know how much light that one needs, um, but that's fine. Let's get the French Angel because I love it. All right then. Um, how are we doing for money? What is the problem? Why aren't we making more money? That's actually quite a lot of profit. We've just been spending it. Is the problem? Whoa! We started spending a lot of money on food. Ooh! Did I like really increase the amount? Of oh, you know what I did. <laughs> Right, I've increased the amount of food in each one of these buckets. So the first thing that happened when I started playing again is that they all um, they all refilled and spent loads and loads of money. So that's that's okay. That's that's gonna get better. Okay, what's going on with this? Why is this tank not sufficiently heated? 
Oh, did we? Oh my god, I put this. I didn't get rid of this. <laughs> right. I, there's a tropical, tropical fish in there. That's fine. Okay. So this is going down, but then it's got to be fixed. That's probably fine. This needs fixing. Yeah, I think stuff is just about running okay. Man, this is like, even for my standards, this has been an especially scatterbrained start to an episode. But I'm totally fine with that. Oh, and this one needs an extra bit of plant. Uh, it's not deep, so let's put some... Can't actually fit in the eelgrass. Oh, did you hear that new sound effect? It goes... If you um, click on something that's already open. Okay, I think we have officially fixed all of the aquascaping issues. Let's just hope everything gets fed. Um, we've almost closed our loop. It's actually... You know, it's feeling pretty neat. This aquarium has changed shape so much. Do you remember the original? Like, oh man, I remember that like third or f I don't know, fourth or fifth episode in when we first did this, and it was just it was just chaos. Um, but uh, it's actually starting to operate relatively nicely now, and we don't have too much in the way of issues with um, people needing fed and watered and all that sort of stuff like we had at some point. Um, and we seem to have enough benches and things like that. So. Let's put some new species in. What have we unlocked recently? I think we, we've got this one here, which is all about like the, the plant lovers and stuff. Um, so we've done those. Schooling banner we've had for ages. Did we, have we got any, any fuzzy dwarfs? Is this one full? Because you can put... Um, yeah, that one's full. All right, let's, let's change this into a deep tank. Okay, so let's pause the game. So we need a staging area. This will be our staging area. And then we're going to move everything across. I'm working on a new trailer as well. And um, yeah, I gotta say that it's, it's a really good trailer. Like, it's one of my kind of classic gameplay trailers, as opposed to like the marketing malpractice live action one. But it's just solid, and I'm, I'm really proud of it actually. It just it just makes the game look super fun. It got me really excited about playing. Oh my god, look! Here's all the decorations, which haven't been like resized properly to fit inside their boxes, and they're full of bugs and stuff. I did not realise they were going to turn up. I was certain they didn't. I think all, all of them turned up when we reached rank 6. Because I think it automatically unlocked everything up below that. Anyway, let's just use this uh, this paint. Um, now, so the problem with this is now it's it's big. Wait, wait, wait. 36. No, 36 is actually the okay size. So as long as this gets fixed, we should be fine. Let's turn that round to like that. Um, and then I think we can fit one of these little fuzzy dwarfs in. Oh my god, are they going to get eaten? Oh no. Wait, when these guys are full size, they will eat. Oh, here's another thing I did. I've combined all of the things that eat each other or are dangerous to each other into one big thing. It's just like a triangle with a warning sign on. Because some of them had loads. Like, often what you had is things like... I don't know, this longhorn cowfish. Oh, that's a bad example. Um, let me find a good example. Sorry, let me get rid of this. Right. Um. Mm hmm. I'm trying to look for something that's going to nibble on everything. Um, it's not. You know, it's some of the later butterfly fish and angel fish. Um, let's have a look at this guy. Hey, there's an example. Okay, French angel fish. I do know my fish. <laughs> right, it's a danger to stony corals, soft corals, clams, and gorgonians. And a lot of the stuff that eats things eats crustaceans too, right? This eats fish and crustaceans. And it just was making so many little icons, so I've combined all those together. So that's a bit more convenient. But anyway, this thing says it'll eat fish with size 5. And I'm worried that that little short fin lion fish is size 5. So I can't actually put these two together. Ah, oh, that wasn't deliberate. <laughs> And this guy, congenus only, cannot be housed with any... Can, 
cannot be housed with any. None, right, sorry, I wasn't reading it properly. Cannot be housed with any. That's a good sign, isn't it? When you, your own text that you've written, you, you don't understand it first time yourself. Uh, cannot be housed with any non-lion fish and scorpion fish. So, um, yeah, these guys can't actually go together because this guy will eat this guy. Even though this guy kind of wants to go with congeners, there is actually a scorpion fish which you unlock later. So you can put those with those. But hey, I'm just following the rules, right? And who knows, if I add more fish in the future, then these rules will continue to be, you know, in force. And I think this is the thing. Now, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't inspired a little bit by games like Hearthstone um, in their their sort of approach to, or any collectible card game, any trading card game, right? Where you design a, a kind of uh, a set of stuff and you have like a basic set that you release with and then over time you add to that. Um, and you know, maybe this is like free content that I release after, uh, after launch. Um, maybe it's like down the line, we'll see. Um, I might do a DLC or something like that, who knows? But I love the idea that I could bring, you know, new levels, new fish, new mechanics, new that sort of stuff. But then all of the old stuff will still work and it will like work in combination with the new stuff. Um, I just think that's like a really cool idea. Um, but we'll see. Hey, can I just say something? There is no day one DLC. Like, everything I have, right, is, like, in this game. It's honestly, this game is massive. There's, like, 90 different animals and corals and stuff. Like, it's so big. It's kind of bigger than it needed to be. But um, my researcher just was so attached to so many different animals that um, I kind of couldn't say no. And uh, she, uh, she, she, yeah, she got them all in the game. So, um, yeah, this game is, is massive. So don't you don't have to worry about that. Um, there is an issue here with this thing not being accessible anymore because it's now deep and I'm just like working out how to align this stuff if I move this over here and this over here then I can put a platform there and oh there we go so now they can access that and I just need somebody to bloody fix this thing dude come on now the cool thing is you unlock more equipment is you can combine more and more of these things so later on we're going to get the oh coffee machine new drinks right so i've got a load of new facilities as well um but anyway okay it's not next level but at some point what we'll do what we'll get is a combined unless we've already got it let's just check um yeah you'll get a combined skimmer and filter so these can be combined and then you're not going to have quite as much um fixing of stuff to do and eventually if you want you can use pumps to power loads of tanks from just a single like really big equipment so it's, it's really cool that as the game goes on it will reduce this burden but my gosh at the moment we're really struggling with all of these um things let's let's hire another person who can do fixing yeah let's get anna and let's make her focus on, on fixing uh precision and uh wait precision memory I think is what you need to do fixing so she's she's not the most talented of girls uh French angel fish great you know this box fish is, is this the one that's yeah this one's good there's another one the spotted box fish which is dangerous so uh, exudes talk poison but this one's fine yeah let's go for this guy this is pretty good difficult to feed but um the armored thing's really nice because they, they, they don't get eaten as easily um, I'm just going to put down a couple more benches. Oh, look, we got the padded bench. Now, functionally, this doesn't actually do it yet, but it's going to... Um, when people sit on the padded bench, they're going to um, be rested for longer, and they won't need as long before they sit down again. So we've got some of that kind of old school, like, I don't know, the Sims style, sort of like you're upgrading your stuff as you go along. Man, I've been talking for like 25 minutes now, so I should probably be wrapping this one up. But um, I know I haven't really made much in the way of new tanks, but I don't know, I just kind of like, I'm just kind of trying to get everything running smoothly. Um, and you know what, we're not doing bad. I mean, still climbing up, you know, Run getting stuff running smoothly is like a big deal to getting good prestige. Like just going big doesn't always work if it's inefficient. And we're still unlocking stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you... Wow, day 31. I hope you enjoyed that this rather scatterbrained video. I'm having, like, such a ton of fun with the game. You can probably tell I'm quite excited about launching it. I know a lot of you have been asking uh, when launch is going to be. And um, this is not official, right? But I'm now, I'm now aiming for early September. 
this is not an official launch day, okay? It's ready when it's ready, guys. You know how it works. But, like, if you're going to ask, I'm going to answer. That's what I think. But, you know, what? a few months ago, I thought it was going to be July, August. So, just, like, don't hold your breath. But, like, seriously, guys, it's really getting there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that, there's that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.